Hi everyone, a warm welcome to Zynerd. I am Ashok and we as Zynerd have been supporting medical aspirants for over 10 years now in getting the best seat that you deserve. After your exams are over, the primary thing that you would be looking at is the exam results. Once your marks are out, the ranks are out, there is something more critical than anything which is the entire counselling process. For your particular, particular rank, how do you get the best college, the best course and go through the entire counselling process, make the right decisions with right information to get the most deserving seat or even better. That is what we offer at Zyner. As a first step towards that, today we will take you through the entire NEET UG 2023 counselling guide. We will take you through the courses that are available under NEET UG and for MBBS to start with, we will take you through the colleges, the counsellings that come uh, that are avail uh, that you will have to apply for as far as NEET UG is concerned for MBBS and the, how to look at cutoffs and other details. We will take you through in detail. You will have information on NMC, on institutes and seats etc. We have far better information than that. NMC information has certain uh, limitations in terms of updates not being there, some institutes still showing in as uh, seats, uh, showing in as being recognized whereas the recognition is cancelled. We have got the entire information here exactly based on 2022 allotments and the updates of every seat which NMC does, we are also providing it as separate videos so that you don't miss out any seat throughout the 2023 counselling process. If you are a parent who is watching this video, continue to watch our videos, subscribe to us so that you don't miss out any information and take the best decisions. What will we be looking at here? In this guide, we'll be looking at all the courses, the in institutes that offer uh, MBBS, the entire list of institutes with the seats that are available, whether you are eligible for those seats, etc. And the counselings that they come under. So by going through this video or this session, you will be able to know everything about every seat across India. You will not miss out any seat just because you don't have information. We will ensure that through this session, you get to know every information. So what are the courses that are available under NEET UG? After you complete your NEET UG examination, you are eligible for MBBS. Obviously, you know that MBBS is a four and a half years course plus one year internship uh, uh, is required to complete your, uh, to register for, as, a, as a practitioner. So this together, it comes to a five and a half year course period in total. Which seats come under NEET UG? Every MBBS seats across, seat across India. Anything in a government hospital, in state, central, any uh, hospital, uh, any uh, uh, institute of national importance like AIMS, JIPMER, and AFMC, which is our, under Armed Forces Medical Services. Every seat comes under NEET UG. Deemed universities, private institutes, any allotment would be basis NEET UG examination. So once only if you are qualified under NEET, NEET UG and basis merit rank, you will be able to get an MBBS seat. Every MBBS seat comes under NEET UG. Then you have the second set of seats, which is BDS. For BDS, which is a four years uh, course plus one year internship, basically a five year total course period. In case you are in interested in dental seats, all BDS seats come under NEET UG, NEET UG's purview. So you will have to write NEET UG and get qualified under NEET UG and apply for the counsellings. You have the Ayush seats. There is a separate ministry for Ayush. There is a separate council for Ayush. Ayush is basically Ayurveda, Yunani, Siddha and Homeopathy. Basically the BAMS, BUMS, BSMS and BHMS seats come under NEET UG examination. This is basis, there is some confusion but basis is Supreme Court order. This has been very clearly mentioned. This is also a four and a half years plus one year uh, course which is total five and a half years course similar to MBBS and it comes under NEET UG basis the Supreme Court order. Every IU seat across India is supposed to be allotted through uh, NEET UG counselling. And finally we have a set of seats which are BSc nursing seats. Note that not all BSc nursing seats across India come under NEET UG counselling. The BSc nursing in seats under the central institutes and IP university are allotted through all India counselling and this is basis the NEET UG marks. Though it is not a mandate to allot every seat across India, like a state nursing seat through NEET UG. Every state can take a decision on whether having they are having their own exams or is it based on 12 marks or etc. They can take a decision. But as far as the central institutes go, if you are interested in those central institutes, most of them are very good institutes for BSc nursing. If you are interested in those, you will be, you will have to take up you will have to take up NEET UG and basis those course you will have to apply for all India counseling. The armed uh, the military nursing schools also come under 
NEET UG as of now and are allotted uh, through NEET UG marks. Other than these, you have the bachelor's in veterinary science and allied health courses which might be allotted under NEET UG. So if you are exploring those options, NEET UG marks will be helpful. These are not for every BVSC or allied health course across India. This is for a certain set of courses which like central, uh, which come under the central authority etc. There are other courses too. There are many states which take the NEET UG marks from NTA through MOHFW and use those marks as criteria for uh, let us say agriculture courses, biotechnology courses in your state. If that happens, then NEET UG uh, based, uh, you can apply basis NEET UG for those courses as well. So we have listed down all the courses. Primarily for us, we will be looking at MBBS, BDS seats and possibly Ayush seats. Uh, the MBBS is what we will be covering in this session in detail. It might be a 45-50 minute se session, but this will be worth your time in gold because we will take you through every seat that is available across India as far as NEET UG is concerned and MBBS seats are concerned across India. Okay, so we will be looking at MBBS institutes across India and we will be taking you through how many seats are available in each of these set of institutes and we will also be telling you which counselling these institutes come under, whether you are eligible for that or not or what is the eligibility criteria of it. Be very clear everything boils down to an institute you are looking at mbbs course in an institute the first thing that you need to understand is how under which counseling these institutes come under second am i eligible for this set of seats and finally how many seats are available for me in that institute or total how many seats are available we'll take you through everything in detail so that by the end of the session you will know every institute available uh, uh, which offers mbbs course and the counselings that they come under and whether you are eligible for that and which counsellings you are need to apply for. One uh, important point before we go into the session, when an institute offers MBBS, you should understand that it may, the seats may come under multiple counsellings and within each counselling that the seat comes under, there will be multiple quotas. For instance, if there is a seat in a state government institute, the seat may come under two counsellings like All India Counselling and State Counselling. You are eligible, you may be eligible for both the counselings for a certain set of seats within that. So you may have to apply for All India Counselling and State Counselling. Second, within that counselling, there might be quotas based on either category or based on uh, whether uh, there are special quotas, etc. You might be eligible for one particular quota within that counselling. You should know what quota that is. So we will take you through that. Uh, nothing to worry. You will have a complete information as long as you are following Zainer. First, we'll start with the institutes of national importance. What are the institutes of national importance? These are specifically des uh, designated institutes categorized as institutes of national importance by the INI Act. And these institutes are some of the best institutes across the country. Uh, this is not limited to MBBS alone, but here we will be looking at the MBBS institutes. First thing that, first institute that comes to our mind when we talk about MBBS is AIMS, right? And basically AIMS New Delhi. AIMS New Delhi is the first institute to close basically the highest cutoff institute across India and AIMS New Delhi is the first institute of national importance. Similar to AIMS New Delhi, you have a 20 other AIMS today which are fully or partially functional The uh, and all these 20 in All India Institute of Medical Sciences are uh, institutes of national importance and they have open quota seats. What is the quota? Open quota. We said institutes and then there is a quota. Open quota seats are available. All seats, 100% of AIMS Institute seats are coming under open quota. Which counselling do they come under? They come under All India Counselling over here. What do we have here? We have All India Counselling over here. And these seats come under All India Counselling. Now also you can see that uh, what is the eligibility criteria? What is the eligibility criteria for this set of seats? All candidates across India are eligible. No domicile criteria. When you are applying for All India Counselling for AIMS open seats, there is no domicile criteria. Everybody is eligible for AIMS seats. So there are 20 AIMS, everybody is eligible. The quota is called AIMS open quota and the counselling is All India Counselling. There is only one minor difference as far as the eligibility goes. There are seven seats in AIMS New Delhi. These are super, super numerary seats over and above the existing set of seats that are available in AIMS. Like they have 125 seats seats sanction above that they have another seven seats taking it to 132 these seven seats are available for foreign nationals or ocas or paos in case you are a foreign national oca or pao look for 
the foreign national OCA PAO seats in All India Counselling. All the seats anyways are allotted through All India Counselling. So where do you get your AIM seats? All India Counselling. Very clear. We also have separate videos on AIMS, Closing Ranks, AIMS, Delhi, etc. Those are going to be uploaded soon for giving you complete information on every institute or every counselling. So we have gone through the first set of seats. If you want to look at the number of seats in each of the AIMS, you can have a look at this. Note that this number may vary when you look confirm this with NMC because NMC has not updated certain seat increases and this is the right final number based on 2022. There are 20 aims as of now. There, are, there is a proposal for another 4-5 aims which may or may not come up uh, in the near future. We will let you know in case some of these come up. So total counselling wise seats like we said, uh, when we are looking at any information, you will always see the number of seats over here. There are 2169 seats out of 20 institutes including the 7 aim seats. So all of these come under which counselling? All India Counselling. So after we have completed AIMS, what are we looking at? All India Counselling, AIMS Institutes, 2,169 uh, seats with 20 AIMS Institutes are now available under All India Counselling. Now we will be looking at the next institute which is JIPMA. JIPMA Pondicherry is an institute which is actually having a constituent institute which is JIPMA Karekal as well. This is an institute of national importance as well. This is also a highly preferred institute and an excellent institute. The JIPMA, however, has two quotas. One is the open quota seats. What are open quota seats? Everybody across India, all candidates across India, irrespective of domicile, are eligible for the open quota seats. And you see that 66.67 percentage, almost two thirds of the seats are available under JIPMA open quota. So if you see here, in Jipmar Pondicherry, 182 seats are there and 134 of them, almost two-thirds are open seats and 48 are state quota seats. What are state quota seats? We'll come to. But 182 out of 182, 134 seats are open seats. Similarly, Jipmar Karekal has 61 seats of which 45 are open quota seats. Jipmar used to have a N an NRI quota of 7 seats but those seats do not exist now. So in total they have only 243 seats and not 250 seats. Now other than that the rest one third which is 33 percentage is a state quota seat. There was a case because these were not uh, available after the counselling happened through All India but finally these state, this state quota of seats do exist now for JIPMER UT, Union Territory Domicile Candidates. So who is eligible for the state quota seats? Pondicherry UT domicile candidates are eligible for state quota seats. But the counselling as you can see here, where, uh, what is the counselling? The counselling is All India Counselling for JIPMER seats. You will have to go through All India Counselling for taking the JIPMER Pondicherry domicile seats. There is no separate counselling. And the criteria for Pondicherry domicile we will discuss in details. In total, uh, there are uh, 179 open seats in JIPMER and 64 state quota seats in JIPMER making it a total of 243 seats across two institutes. Even though they are, this is a constituent institute, the in the seat matrix or in the listing out of allotments, choice filling etc, both of them will be listed out separately. JIPMER Pondicherry 182 seats will be listed out separately and JIPMER Karekal 61 seats will be listed out separately. So that covers the two institutes of national importance basically under All India Counselling. Every seat of these two institutes come under All India Counselling. You don't need to go through the state counselling, check on whether something, uh, whether AIM seats are allotted through some other means, JIPMER seats are allotted through some other means. All these seats come under the All India Counselling. Next, we will go to the central universities or institutes. Central universities or institutes are those institutes which come under the purview of MOHFW. Like we have a state government institute which comes under the state authority, the center also has central universities which are basically universities running multiple courses of which there is an MBBS institute. Or they have central institutes coming under the state universities. Basically in Delhi you have central institutes but they come under a state university. These two are what we are going to look at now as part of two, category 2. Under 2.1 we have the Institute of Medical Sciences BHU Varanasi. Again an excellent institute. So Institute of Medical Sciences BHU Varanasi has hundreds MBBS seats in total across one institute. And this seats, these seats are available on an open quota basis for every candidate. So if you are looking at BHU open quota, every seat is available under All India Counselling and every candidate irrespective of domicile can apply for these seats. So if you are looking at IMS BHU, where do you apply? All India Counselling only and every candidate 
irrespective of domicile is eligible for these seats all the 100 seats and so now we have under all india counseling three sets of seats aims jipmer and ims bhu every seat coming under all india counseling as of now we look at the next set Aligarh Muslim University. There is Aligarh Muslim University is a university with multiple uh, courses being offered, multiple institutes, etc. One of them is JLN Medical College offering MBBS seats. Here we are looking at only at MBBS seats. We are not looking at dental seats. Therefore, you haven't seen the dental institutes of AMU and uh, BHU. AMU uh, has JLN Medical College Aligarh with 150 seats. AMU is a central university. Within that, this is the seat split. You see that there is an AMU internal quota, then you see that there is an AMU open quota, right? So this is the seat split that is available. You look at it, there is AMU open quota and then there is AMU internal quota and you also have the NRI seats. Five of these seats are NRI seats. What is AMU open quota? Like we said for BHU open, you have all the seats under AMU open quota available for all candidates across any domicile across India. So you have open quota where 50% excluding the NRI seats. NRI seats are 5 seats out of 150, making it to 145 seats left out, of which 50 seats, 72 seats or 73 seats will be available for every candidate across India, irrespective of the domicile criteria. No domicile criteria, like we have mentioned, there is no domicile criteria. You are NEET UG qualified, you will be eligible for this set of seats. Then you have internal quota in AMU. What is internal quota? Internal quota has specific criteria and it is available only for candidates who passed out 12th in the last three years from AMU University. So if you have passed out 12 in the last three years in the AMU University, your AMU University would have schools, your qualifying examination might be a BSc graduation. So if you have passed out in last three years in AMU University, then you are eligible for AMU internal quota. And you have the NRA quota seats which are for NRA candidates, NRA regular eligibility criteria which we will discuss in detail applies. Now note that NRA quota seats might be at a higher fee structure around $15,000 or $10,000 per year, but rest of the seats are available at the nominal fee structure which is the usual government fee structure which is very less. Now what you need to understand here is all of these seats, irrespective of whether they are AMU NRA quota, AMU open quota or AMU internal quota, they are allotted through All India Counseling here. So every seat is allotted through All India Counseling. You are looking at AMU for MBBS seats, apply under All India Counseling and select the right quota. Irrespective of domicile, you will be eligible for at least this 50% of seats which are available. So basically 150 seats of this institute is also included. Now if you look at it, uh, you will see that uh, uh, you have, we have under All India Counseling, AIMS Institutes, JIPMAR, IMS BHU and then JLN Aligarh which is AMU. So we have looked at the All India Institute of Medical Sciences, JIPMAR for uh, institutes of, which are institutes of national importance and then AIMS and uh, AMU which are institutes which uh, come under the uh, come under the central universities list. There are other central universities too like Delhi University. Delhi University is a central university under MOHFW but still the split is slightly different like you can see over here. The split is uh, basically for these three institutes which come under the central universities which is Maulana Asad, Lady Harding and University College of Medical Sciences which are excellent institutes, high cutoff, extremely competitive, uh, 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 extremely high marks required to get these institutes but attainable if you actually put in a lot of effort. For these three institutes there are around if you look at it there are around 660 seats across these three institutes. 660 seats which exist in three institutes which is a huge number. There are around 250-240 seats in Maulana Asad and Lady Harinj which is a very huge number. Uh, almost uh, the highest number of seats available in any institute in India. And then you have UCMS which 170 seats. How are the seats split? Before that we look at what counselings these come under. All India Counselling. Every seat across this Delhi University comes under All India Counselling. Make a distinction, we are only talking about these three institutes. All the seats of these three institutes come under the All India Counselling. However, the split is that 15% of these seats come under All India Quota. First time we are bringing up a terminology which is All India Quota over here. What is All India Quota? All India Quota is one quota under All India Counselling. Till now we have been speaking about open seats, AIMS open, JIPMER open and JIPMER state quota and BHU open, AMU open, AMU internal etc. All India quota is a set of seats wherein 
out of state government institute seats and central government institute seats like central university seats or central institute seats 15 percentage was surrendered under all india quota among the central universities delhi university and ip university share 15 percentage under all india quota who is eligible for this all india quota 15 percentage seats every candidate across india is eligible for the all india quota 15 percentage seats so all candidates who are eligible uh, uh, who are uh, need PUG qualified will be eligible for the All India Quota 15 percentage seats. So if you are looking at these institutes, you have to apply under All India Council and the quota that you will be looking at is All India Quota. Then you have the state quota. Who is eligible for the state quota? Only those candidates who have completed their 11th and 12th standard in NCT of Delhi, they are eligible for the state quota counseling so if you have completed your 11th or 12th standard in the national capital territory of delhi which is a wider span you will be eligible for du quota which is the state quota of delhi university 85 percentage of seats come under the state quota one addition to this in addition from the state quota seats let us say you take 85 percentage of these seats from the 85 percentage there is a center, there is first a reservation for children or widows of personnel of armed forces. Four percentage of seats, around 10, 10 or 7 seats are reserved for children or widow of armed forces in LHMC, MAMC and UCMC. And this is also allotted through MCC, but you will have to get necessary certification for getting these seats if you are, uh, 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 if you fall under the children or widows of armed forces personnel. Now, beyond that, six seats in LHMC, Lady Harding and 15 seats in MAMC, though a total of 21 seats are allotted to a central pool. Uh, neither All India Quota, all candidates across India, nor 11th and 12th domicile of uh, Delhi state will be eligible for these set of seats. For these set of 21 seats, uh, the MOHFW through the ministries will allot these set of seats. The 21 seats are not allotted to the central counselling. They are completely given to a central pool. So what have we come across here? One All India Quota which we know which is also similar to open. Every candidate across India is eligible. And a set of seats called central pool seats which are outside the purview of All India Counselling goes to MOHFW and MOHFW allots those. Note the central pool because we will have around 238 central pool seats which are available which many states uh, con or institutes contribute as well. Now, so given this, what do we have now? You have Ames Institutes, JIPMER, IMS, JLN and Delhi University where out of the 660 seats except for the 21 central pool seats, every seat is allotted through All India Counseling. The quotas may differ like we see. The quotas may differ in terms of what do we what did we see here? The quotas are All India Quota and Delhi University Quota. You may not be eligible for uh, uh, Delhi University Quota if you are not a domicile of, uh, uh, Del if you did not do your MBBS from Delhi, but you will be eligible for other set of seats which are available under All India Quota. So 639 seats are allotted under Delhi University, from Delhi University are allotted under All India Counseling. And among the central pool, we have a list of 21 seats as of now from Delhi University, from LHMC and MAMC only, VM, uh, University College of Medical Sciences does not contribute. So what have we looked at till now? We have looked at the institutes of national importance, Ames and JIPMER, and then three central universities, BHU, AMU, and Delhi University. BHU and AMU had all seats under open or AMU had other uh, quotas as well. DU had a 15 percentage seats under AEQ and another set of seats under uh, state quota. Now, and they also had central pool seats like you saw. Now we are getting into central institutes. Till now we were looking at universities. Now we are looking at central institutes. The distinction is that central institutes like ABVMS, VMMC, both of them are based out of Delhi. They come under the Delhi State University, which is GGIPU. Note that the state, the university is a state university, but they are institutes, central institutes. Why are they central institutes? They are managed by MOHFW Center. Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and come under the DGHS which is also a central authority. So they are central institutes. Why is that distinction? Why are we clearly mentioning that distinction? Because being central institutes under state under the state university, even though they are under the state university, all the seats are allotted through All India Counseling. So as far as ABVMS, VMMC goes, all the seats that are available are allotted through All India Counseling. 15 percentage of seats under AAQ and 85 percentage of seats under the state quota, exactly like Delhi University. Who is eligible for the 15 percentage AAQ seats? All candidates, irrespective of their domicile, are eligible for the 15 percentage seats under 
under the uh, all india quota of these institutes now who is eligible for ip quota only those candidates who are 11th and 12th standard in nct of delhi are eligible for the ip quota basically this is the state quota don't confuse it with whatever esi ip which comes in later they are eligible for the indra prastha university state quota which is specifically mentioned over here now among these uh, under vmmc uh, under the uh, vmmc alone six percentage of seats uh, which is six seats basically are to children are uh, allotted to children or personnel of uh, children or widows of personnel of Indian armed forces. Now, beyond that, there are six seats which are allotted to the central pool. They are surrendered to the central pool to the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, which through other ministries allots these seats. This is outside the counseling process. Even though we said every seat is under All India Counseling, this central pool quota alone goes from VMMC alone. It, there's no, there are no central pool seats in the ABVMS. That alone goes to which count, which authority mohfw and they allotted through a central pool set of seats which are 238 seats in total so this is what you need to know the distinction is that these two institutes are central institutes under state university but there are other institutes like army college dr bsa uh, bs ambedkar college ndmc delhi which follow a different pattern because they are considered state institutes or not central institutes basically as of now what do we have the entire set of seats out of 270 seats, six, are go, 6 go to the central pool. So the rest, 264 come under All India Counseling and 6 of the IP universities, central universities, basically only from MM, VMMC, they come under the under the uh, central pool of seats. So this is the entire set. We have got All India Counseling now and central pool set of seats now. We will be looking at Delhi State Institutes next. We are looking at Delhi State Institutes. This is the first set of state government institutes that we are looking at. Till now, what have we looked at? All central universities or central institutes and then institutes of national importance which are also central in nature and not under any state authority. This is the first set of seats which are state institutes at under IP University of Delhi. Which are the institutes? There are three institutes. Army College of Medical Sciences, though it is not a state institute, it does not come under central, but the seats are allotted uh, under uh, by the a GGIPU basically through a separate counseling process. For these institutes, Army College of Medical Sciences, Dr. BSA, uh, BS Ambedkar College in uh, Rohini, Delhi and NDMC, a total of 285 seats are there in these three institutes and how are the seats split? 15 percentage come under AAQ and 85 percentage come under the state quota in these institutes. So 15 percentage under AAQ, who was eligible? AAQ, like we always know, every con candidate across India is eligible. No domicile criteria. You will be eligible for 15 percentage of seats. But note this over here. All seats under the Army College of Medical Sciences are allotted through Delhi State Counseling. There is no AAQ allotment as far as Army College of Medical Sciences go. So one, from Baba Sai, BSA Medical College and NDMC, you will have 15 percentage under AAQ, you are eligible for that. Rest of the seats, 85 percentage of state quota seats of Dr. BSA Ambedkar and NDMC Medical College and all the seats, 100 seats of Army College of Medical Sciences are allotted through the Delhi State Counseling. What is the eligibility criteria? Again, 11th and 12th standard in NCT of Delhi is the eligibility criteria for Army College. If there is another additional eligibility criteria, you can also look at it. But otherwise, this is the eligibility criteria. Who conducts this? First time we are coming up with another counselling. Who conducts this? The Delhi State Counselling uh, Authority conducts this basically by uh, GGIPU. Uh, this is this is through GGIPU. So basically that is the counselling authority for this set of seats. You will be looking at Delhi State Counselling if you are 11th and 12th standard in NCT of Delhi. Kindly note this point. If you are 11th and 12th standard from NCT of Delhi, you had central university seats under from these two institutes which come under all india counseling you also had delhi university seats which come under all india counseling you had ip university seats which come under all india counseling you just need to apply for all india counseling these set of seats too you are eligible for under all india counseling for aaq seats but the state quota of these counselings are separate. So if you are from Delhi, you will have to apply separately for, inst for these institutes under the Delhi state quota counselling. Now we will be looking at what all we have till now. We have All India counselling where here you have 15 percentage of seats under BSA and uh, Army College, right? So those set of seats are also available, 28 seats in total for, from two institutes. And then you have the list of uh, central pool seats. First time we have a state counselling. 
IP University State Institutes, 257 seats of these three institutes come under the state counselling. Now note this point, state counsellings are conducted by the respective state. If we are saying this is state counselling, we already mentioned the eligibility for this set of seats. You will have to apply under the Delhi State Counselling Authority. You will have to look at information in IP University website for this state counselling. So be aware of it. Whenever we say state counselling and we put in all the seats coming under state counselling, it does not mean there is one counselling. Each state government institute basically will have a separate counselling. You will be required to apply under that state counselling. Now we are going to look at another set of institutes which has a unique category wise split which is ESI institutes. ESI institutes come under the Employee State Insurance Corporation. Some of them are uh, MOUs based tie ups with the government medical colleges of the particular state. But we will be looking at how ESI medical college seats are split. Now you look at ESI medical colleges. These are the 11 ESI medical colleges and in total you have 1280 seats out of 11 institutes in ESI medical colleges. Now ESI medical colleges seats might be are split across different counselings. One is All India Counselling, then they also come under State Counselling, which means all the 11 institute seats come under All India Counselling and there are a part of the seats also come under the State Counselling. When we say State Counselling, it's the respective State Counselling. So when you're looking at ESIC Sanat Nagar, which is in Telangana, a part of the seats will come under the Telangana State Counselling. Similarly, if you are looking at ESIC Bangalore, it will come under Karnataka Medical Counselling, a part of the seats. The rest will come under All India Counselling. What is the split? AAQ is clear 15 percentage, except for one distinction where ESI Bangalore surrenders a high, slightly higher seat, number of seats, 29 seats. Rest of the ESIs clearly surrender 80, 15 percentage of seats under All India Quota. Then you have the ESI Insured Persons Quota, which is only for candidates who are wards of insured persons. Basically, they should have a certificate uh, with distinct number if you are a ward of an ESA insured person. Who is an ESA insured person? An ESA insured person is a person who is paying premium as a member of employee state insurance. Usually, when your company is offering a uh, you ESA benefits and uh, your wages are less than 21,000, you become an ESA member and if your ward is, uh, if you have a, a, a ward who is eligible through NEET UG and they are part of the wards list in the ESI membership then you will have a distinct number and a certificate for them and in that case you will be eligible for ESI insured persons quota. How does this, uh, where does this, uh, where are these seats allotted? Both All India quota seats and ESI insured persons quota seats are allotted through All India Counseling. For All India quota seats, anyways, there is no eligibility criteria. As far as ESI insured persons quota goes, you will have to get the what certificate and only then you will be eligible. Beyond this, we are looking at the rest of the seats which come under the state government quota. What are the seats that come under the state government quota? Like you can see over here, uh, each a percentage of seats under each of these counselings will be available under the state government quota. But note that the eligibility for the state government quota varies across states. If let us say you are looking at uh, the state of Bihar, I am looking at ESI Medical College partner seats in the state of Bihar. If you are eligible for the Bihar government quota seats, then you will be eligible for that state counselling and therefore you will be eligible for the state quota seats. The eligibility may differ across states, we will come to that in detail. So basically, if you are looking at any of these seats, let us say you are looking at ESI KK Raga Chennai and ESI Coimbatore seats in Tamil Nadu. You should be eligible for the Tamil Nadu government quota, then you will be eligible for the state counselling and then therefore you will be eligible for the set of seats under this. The percentage split here between ESA insured persons quota and state quota varies and therefore we have not put in the split here. We have the exact number of seats but we haven't put the split here because in some institutes ESA insured persons quota is exactly 50 percentage of the remaining. In some institutes it is 30 to 50 percentage or even 60 percentage. So that varies so we haven't put it here because it is not similar for every ESA. But what we know is in total there are 1280 seats. We know in total how many seats were allotted last year under state quota. So here you have 641 out of the 1280 seats allotted under All India Counseling. This is the 15 percentage AAQ part, everybody is eligible for plus the ESI insured persons part which ESI wards are eligible for. You also have the rest 639 seats, almost like 50 percentage which are under the state counsellings. There are 11 institutes uh, offering these seats and when it comes to state counselling, these are split into each state. Like we mentioned, when we are mentioning ESA Institute state counsellings, they are split into each state counselling. Only those state candidates will be el el eligible for those set of seats. So this is where we are now. We will be moving to next something very 
unique which is armed forces medical college pune uh, when we say unique uh, it is also an extremely uh, uh, good institute uh, which not only uh, is towards the medical which not only caters to uh, creating a medical uh, professional but also towards a managerial professional it is an, it is one of the top 3 institutes in every survey that you see and in every ranking that you see so afmc pune uh, allotment we have put them under a separate bucket because it the uniqueness of afmc pune is that the registration for afmc pune if you want to attend the afmc pune counseling you have to register through all india counseling where does all india counseling registration happen in mcc.nic.in the portal link will be available in the youtube description and it will start two months after your exams are over once you register for all india counseling there is a physical counseling at afmc pune you will see that there is a physical counseling at afmc pune before that there will be a, an examination basically a test on english reasoning a psychological assessment test an interview medical fitness test and then you become eligible for uh the uh, then based on the merit in the entire list of uh, series of uh, evaluations you will be allotted a seat in afmc pune first thing that you need to do uh, you so who is eligible basically every candidate across india is eligible but what needs to happen you first register at all india counseling then you go back to uh, the physical uh, afmc for a physical counseling basically including a test evaluation uh, test and interview and evaluation and then you are allotted a seat Uh, all seats if if you don't register in all india counseling registration you will not be even able to attend the physical counseling at afmc pune uh, very uh, uh, un uh, unique thing over here is that there is a split for boys and girls uh, which uh, is in very few states alone other than that there is a split of boys and uh, split of 115 boys and 30 girls that afmc pune takes in every year for their mbbs courses and the remaining five seats out of the 150 seats are sponsored candidates from friendly foreign countries which is outside the purview of this entire council it is through the central government so now this is a complete set of seats only thing is as far as afmc pune goes is that you remember that you need to register through all india counseling we have put it under all india counseling bucket so that you are very clear that registration is through all india counseling don't miss it so here you have a clear idea right now if i am looking at these institutes the entire list of institutes i am looking at all the counselings that they fall under i will follow it up based on this snapshot which is very clear for you and we will next look at state government medical colleges the biggest chunk of the entire set of seats come from the state government medical colleges obviously because each state has 20 or uh, 10 to 30 medical colleges or 40 medical colleges even in some states now the list of state government medical colleges till now in every uh, every one of our category of seats institutes we would have seen the list of colleges clearly mentioned this has 306 institutes and 45384 seats in total the list is available as pdf individually mentioning these are the state medical colleges in these states and these are the set of seats available in each of the states you can have a look at the pdf available in the description and all these come under the state authority under the state government authority this does not include the esi seats which also come under state counseling this includes the state government institute seats we will look at how these seats are split all india quotas major chunk comes from this set of institutes out of this 45384 seats you see that 15 percentage of seats come under the all india quota and all these seats are available for every candidate who is neat pg neat ug qualified irrespective of the domicile so out the remaining 85 percentage of seats come under the state counseling so if you are looking at the remaining 85 percentage of seats you will have to look at the state counseling of the respective states what is the eligibility for the remaining 85 percentage of seats state eligibility rules apply here you have to take a pause and clearly understand how the state eligibility rules work each state let us say out of these 45384 seats some say seats belong to the state of maharashtra maharashtra has a separate eligibility criteria kerala let us say some states uh, like kerala has a set of seats kerala has a separate eligibility criteria tamil nadu might have a separate eligibility criteria those eligibility criteria are up, applicable for their state counselings for the state government seats which medical colleges which come under the state counselings their state counselings for this 85% state quota the eligibility criteria may be based on origin like kerala has an eligibility criteria which says if you are an origin of kerala irrespective of whether you reside in kerala or not if you are an origin of kerala you are eligible for the state government medical colleges seats native of a particular state 
for instance, Tamil Nadu has a rule which says that if you are a native of that state, nativity rules as per the state are applicable, then you are eligible for the state quota seats of that particular state, resident or domicile of the seat. For instance, there are certain institutes like in you will, states which will say you will have to be a resident of that state and give a criteria for resident or domicile etc. The terms used don't get confused at all. Irrespective of what they mention, just look at what certificate is required and what is the criteria. Whether it is origin, native, resident, domicile, whatever terms they use, do not matter. You will ultimately have to provide a nativity certificate or a birth certificate etc. If you have that certificate, then it means you are eligible as per these criteria. There are certain states which still go by schooling. Whether you have completed 10 years of schooling in the particular from 1st to 12th etc. Or even parents employment. If your parents are employed in a state government uh, uh, authority under the state government institutes or authorities or officers etc. Then you will be eligible. So don't miss out any of these. We will come out with everything in detail uh, during the counselling process and just before the counselling process. Even uh, uh, before the counselling process, Zainab will have separate information guides for each domicile, each state's criteria. And that is very much relevant because for your state, in case you need to get a certificate, you need to get a certificate as early as possible. Now, this 18 percentage and 55 percentage, uh, 15 percentage and 85 percentage split is something that we mentioned, right? What we also would like to mention is a few state government institutes surrender seats to which counseling, uh, which uh, set of uh, seats, the central pool seats. We already saw a list of central pool seats, right? There are 211 seats contributed by institutes across different states to the central pool. Basically, this goes to MOHFW. So, out of this 45,384, 211 seats go to MOHFW. They distribute it across Ministry of Health, and, uh, Home Affairs, Ministry of Defense, etc. and so on. That is their distribution which we, they do and the criteria will also be defined accordingly. And uh, some states like Kerala here, over here, Tripura, Manipur, Dadra and Nagar Haveli, West Bengal offer seats to uh, candidates of other states. For instance, Kerala offers seats to candidates nominated from Andaman and Nicobar Lakshadi. Tripura offers seats to other state candidates like uh, the uh, northeastern states. Manipur offers uh, seats to northeastern states. Dadra and Nagar Haveli offer seats to Gujarat. Eight seats are offered to Gujarat. And West Bengal offers seats to donors, those who have donated to build two medical colleges. They offer seats to donors. Uh, every year on a nomination basis. So those seats are available on a nomination basis. You can pursue those seats in case uh, you don't miss out. Let us say you are from Andaman and Nicobar. You, can, you would like to know that Kerala offers seats for Keralaites who are in Andaman and Nicobar. So be aware of that. When you look at each prospectus, we will also tell you in detail. This level of detailing, I am not sure how many of uh, uh, the uh, videos that you see will uh, let you know. We have got through every seat in detail. So what, what where are we now? This is a snapshot that you can always refer to. You have state government institutes offering 15 percentage AA quota, a all India quota, which comes to 6,787. This, this is the complete list of seats available under all India counseling. The list of institutes is available as a PDF in the description. Then you have state counselings which have the rest 38,386 minus the 211 nominated seats which come under central pool from state government institutes. This is a very, very large list. And there are only two sets of seats that we have missed now. We'll look at those. Next is state private medical colleges. We'll be looking at state private medical colleges. The state private medical colleges are all colleges which come under the state university or state authority. The distinction between a state private medical college and a deemed university should be very clear for you. This is not deemed university. This is a state private medical college. Deemed universities are unitary universities which offer medical courses through an institute which is sub, which has been uh, authorized uh, which has been approved as a deemed university by ugc they do not have come under the central state authority at all they are central in nature all deemed universities like for example if you take dy patil in navi mumbai hamdard in delhi ramachandra uh, 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 medical college in chennai uh, uh, Kasturba Medical College in Bangalore. All these are deemed universities which are central in nature. State might not have a control on their functioning. Okay, so but there are private institutes in many of these seats, states like in terms of uh, M, uh, MS Ramaya in Karnataka is a private university but comes under the state authority. It has been, it is a private university which comes under the state act. So therefore, it comes under the state authority. Similarly, PhD Medical College in Tamil Nadu. You might have Jubilee Mission uh, under uh, in Kerala. 
you may, uh, you will have institutes similar institutes across in uh, mumbai uh, in maharashtra in, in every state all these are state private medical colleges which come under the state authority how many seats are there 39115 seats are there in 252 institutes this is a scale of private universities that uh, private institutes or private universities that come under uh, uh, come uh, have mbbs seats in india the list of private institutes you are confused don't worry about it all you need to know is which institute is a private institute right you will have the list available as pdf in the description just open the list and you will be able to see that if you go to zynad actually once you subscribe or once you take uh, zynad you will be able to see all those in a filterable format just filter state private institutes it will give you the state private institutes as well that's for later but now you'll be able to see all those in the as a pdf in the description it will have private institutes that are available uh, uh, that are affiliated to the state government university like uh, PhD Medical College, which is affiliated to a government university like TNMGR University. You will have private institutes that are affiliated to a state private university like MS Ramaya, which is a private university in itself offering MS Ramaya Medical uh, Institute of Medical Sciences. So those both will come under this list. All the seats are allotted through state counseling. Every private institute seat is allotted through state counseling. No doubt, it is through a state counseling. There are three states alone which have a separate counseling process for management quota seats as of now don't get confused you have to look at state counseling for all these private institutes so where, whenever you're looking at private institutes look at state counseling and the eligibility rules are very detailed as in it is very confusing if we go through all those in this session we will take you through every state counseling's private institute uh, eligibility rules the first query that comes up for most of you is will i be eligible for other state private institutes or not there are many open states there are around 15 open states which will allow you to take seats in other in other uh, even if you are not do domicile of the seat let us say you are from maharashtra you might be able to take seats in karnataka available under the open category so those rules we will also take you through uh, in detail usually this does not happen for uh, uh, government seats uh, but it will be available there are open seats available for all state candidates in certain states like tamil nadu karnataka uh, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, etc. So where are we now? We've added state private institutes over here. We have 39,115 state private institute seats and these are the seats that are allotted through the state counseling process and the rest of the seats are allotted through the All India counseling process. This is where we are. We have left out only one set of institutes which are deemed to be universities. Deemed to be universities have an anomaly or a, uh, or a specific set of seats which are different. We'll look at that. First, 100% of seats of deemed universities are allotted through All India Counseling. Keep this statement, we will come back to you on another 6 institutes or so. But as of now, note that 100% of seats are allotted through All India Counseling. Every seat that is allotted is through All India Counseling, which will be 1, 85% of that 100%. Let us say a deemed university has 100 seats, like you have 9500 seats in total out of 49 institutes in deemed universities basically all these seats are allotted through all india counseling of which 85 percentage are allotted through paid seats quota these are usually also called as management quota though the term is not right for deemed universities 85 percentage of seats are available at paid seats quota usually uh, at a higher fee structure range above 15 lakhs per annum or 20 lakhs or 25 lakhs per annum and so on so these seats are under All India Counseling. Who is eligible for this set of seats? Every candidate across India is eligible for this set of seats. Uh, whether or not you have scored, uh, if you are NEET PG qualified, that itself is a criteria. There is no other criteria for eligibility for this set of seats. Uh, here over, uh, everybody is eligible. Uh, usually, uh, if your rank is above 50,000, 60,000, you'll still be, you'll be looking at deemed university or private seats and uh, you'll be eligible for this set of seats which are under deemed paid seats. Then you have NRA quota. The remaining 15% of seats can be NRA quota. NRA quota seats are available only for NRA candidates or sponsored NRAs or OCAs or PAOs. So basically, this NRA candidate criteria also flows in for AIMS NRA seats, uh, sorry, uh, for AMU NRA seats as well. AIMS has a foreign national OCA PAO. Here you have NRAs, sponsored NRAs. Basically, the candidate can be NRA or can be sponsored by an NRA. Who can be a sponsor? There is a first level uh, relationship uh, uh, limitation. Uh, basically, uh, only your first degree relatives can sponsor you as an NRA. We will also get you that when we uh, do a separate session on NRAs. If you are an overseas candidate, uh, uh, 
uh, your overseas citizen of India or a PAO, a uh, person of Indian origin, if you have an OCA card or a PAA card, you are also eligible. There has been a very recent update on OCA and PAOs. We already have done a detailed video. If you are an OCA and PAO or a PAO, uh, OCA, basically look at that video. We interpreted the Supreme Court judgment very clearly and in NTA right now, they have corrected uh, like we interpreted and they have made sure that the change is made already. And a minority quota. See, these are seats which are split as 85-15. Where does this come from? In these three institutes alone, which is Hamdar, Enapoya, which both are Muslim minority institutes, and SBKS, which is a Jain minority institute. In these three institutes alone, there is a minority quota. Almost half of these seats, though it varies, almost from this 85 percentage, a percentage of seats are given to the respective minority candidate. So if you are a Jain minority candidate, you can apply as Jain minority at the time of registration. Already you would have applied as Jain in your, in your, uh, uh, in your uh, form, so uh, in your NEET UG form. That will be taken up over here and you can apply for SBKS seats if you are interested. The fee structure is high but you will be eligible for a certain set of seats which makes it easy for you to get those seats against competition in the paid seats category. Yenapoya and Hamdar will are Muslim minority institutes. The certificates required are basic minority certificates. We'll also have a separate session on that. How many deemed universities are there? 49 institutes offer these courses. The list of deemed universities you will see as a PDF in the uh, YouTube description. So you will have all the state government institute uh, list the, and the state private institutes list and the deemed university list as PDF in the portal. You will clearly know which they come under. Note that we have said 100 percentage of seats come under all India counseling in deemed universities, but there is a minor change. Five institutes in Karnataka and one institute in Jharkhand. There is a change. There is a difference. Five institutes in Karnataka, which are those JNMC Belgam, Kasturba Mangalore, JSS Mysore, and KS Egde and Enapoya Mangalore. So all these five institutes uh, and uh, JGMMC uh, 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 Hubli, actually it should be six institutes in Karnataka. So six institutes in Karnataka and Manipal, Tata Manipal Institute in uh, Jamshedpur, they contributes to seats to state quota counselling. A percentage of seats are available under the state quota. So under JNMC Belgaum and Kasturba Mangalore, JSS Mysore, KSA, Enapoya and JGMMC, you will see that some seats are available in Karnataka state counselling as well under the government quota. This will be available at a slightly lower or similar fee structure only, but you can avail those without the paid seat competition which is available on an all India basis. This will be only for Karnataka government quota eligible candidates. So you can look at that. Similarly, in Jharkhand, Manipal Tata contributes a set of seats to Jharkhand state counselling uh, and you can avail those in case you are eligible for those set of seats. So this is the complete list of seats that we have as far as the counselling goes. You see the seats. Uh, we said that there are around 9,500 deemed university seats, right? Not sure why. Uh, so we said there are 9,500 seats in deemed universities, excluding this set of seats which are available in other state counselings. All the other seats are available under uh, All India Counselling only. So 9,337 seats last year were available under All India Counselling. Out of the deemed universities, 6 plus 1 it should be. So 6 plus 1, 163 seats were available under the state counselling. So this is the entire list. This snapshot will give you complete information on which counselling uh, each seat comes under. So if you are looking at all the institutes over here, you will know that these are the seats that come under All India Counselling. Eligibility is also there in the video. Anytime you can go back and check on the eligibility. If you know that, if you want to know which ones are the state government institutes, deemed universities, state private institutes, etc. A PDF is also available and you can also look at the PDF for those institutes. Very clearly mentioned which ones come under each of these seats. There are in total to 20,503 seats out of 398 institutes under All India Counselling with different eligibility criteria though. And in state counselings, there are 78,560 seats out of 579 institutes available. And in central counselling, 243 seats. Uh, under central pool, 238 seats which we have mentioned, plus the five AFMC Pune seats which are 243 seats out of 77 institutes which are available under this counselling. So note that this is a complete snapshot of what happened in 2022. This level of detailing, I am sure nobody would have done across India 
you might want to look at the central pool seats you might want to look at specific seats at deemed university in karnataka jharkhand we'll help you out throughout the counseling process just join our telegram group there is a telegram group that is available just join our telegram group and you will be able to get the complete information on the counseling we clarify all information on queries on counseling in the telegram group we hope that this long uh, discussion will be extremely useful so one thing is without this information if you go into a counseling you will not be able to know which seats come under which counseling what is your eligibility etc so we'll sit down with you work with you and help you out in the entire counseling process with information on zainer as well you can first join the telegram group now if you are in the telegram group you will be able to see all information and get queries clarified any process related questions answered in the telegram group use it is free to access telegram group you can join us and then you can also continue to associate with us through zainer which will give you complete information on the entire counseling process right from cutoffs eligibility criteria etc we have come up with videos on aims delhi aims as a whole and we have also come up we will be coming up with videos on all india counseling next what are the set of seats this is all seats institute wise we'll also be coming up with all india quota what is all india counseling how many quotas come under all india counseling etc in detail for you to refer to so that you are very clear about the process we are experts in the counseling process your exams you would have got expertise from different coaching institute etc when it comes to counseling it is a process use our expertise is what we would suggest and get the best deserving seat don't miss out on simple rules regulations processes where seats go what counselings i can attend etc we will have comprehensive information for you thanks a lot all the best for your examinations keep preparing well till may 7 do well rest of it leave it to zaida thank you